over two to three years ago, we discovered a product that's called BIMTRACK. And we were wondering how come we did not manage to figure that out beforehand, because it brought us a lot of value to our daily routine. Recently, they launched a new plan that's free of charge for everyone, which is limited up to 50 issues. And that's the only limitation, meaning you can use it for unlimited time. And that's great if you're a small business or you want to really evaluate and understand if the product is the right fit for you. You can find the, the link in the description below to sign up for a free account. I would like to make a disclaimer that this video is not sponsored by BIM Truck. Instead, I reached them myself ask them where if it's possible to make a product review since we are actually using it in our daily routine and workflow. And it brought a lot of value to us and we want to make sure that integrated BIM audience can also get that benefit. Therefore, this video will include what we like with BIM truck, what we think they should improve, and what we really don't like with the product. This video might be slightly longer than our other videos we have. It's just because that we are reviewing the product in depth. So we are really making sure that every second is valuable to you. Also, there will be a bonus for you towards the end of this video, so keep watching. As soon as you sign into your account, you will actually see different hubs that you can create over here. We have currently one hub integrated BIM, and all our projects are located here. As you're aware, in the industry, there are many, many apps right now and software products. And for each soft, uh, each project development and workflow, we are using different apps, different software products, and it's really hard to track all the issues, all the documentation, and all the workflow, and keep it sustainable, keep it consistent. And therefore, this app makes a great job when you want to connect all different applications into one single issue platform. Right now, I'll be walking you through a project that is, that is uh, for um, manufacturing purposes. So we have this retractable enclosure, and we will be using uh, we have been using BIM truck to track all the issues for that project. So let's jump back to the BIM truck and let's go into the project. Um, I'm really sorry if you're seeing some of the areas blurred because this is just to keep the uh, confidentiality for our, all our um, team members and also project attendees. Um, you can here you can see the activity timeline. You can see it clearly um, how what how activity is going on under date ranges and all the activities. So this project started from the 19th of May, and you can see that after that day, how many issues were tracked per each day. So you can just simply put the calendar forward to 19, and you can easily see how was the issues tackled per day. And if you jump onto the left side over on the dashboard, on the left here, issues area, if you go there, you will see that all the issues we have marked, they're still, these issues are still active, they're all open. And you can easily see that here all the issues are assigned per priority. So here you can see this is a low priority, which is with green, high priority is going to be with um, with the dark orange, and then we have critical also for for with the red. And if you want to see the same results, the same data, you can simply come here and go to your BIM track, open the app, and then obviously as soon as you sign in into here. Once you sign in, you can select your hub and you can select the particular project you're looking for and all the issues will appear right over here. And if you want to see a particular issue where it's located in the model, you can just select view model and it will go to the right view right away. It's amazing. I mean, we love it. It just saves so much time for us. And then if you click on the on the um, icon here, you can see the uh, image. Also, if you want to see in detail, you can see the issue name, what what is the issue about you can see all the comments all the attachments all the history created and it's it's amazing so this tool is really helpful for us to manage all the issues being tracked in the in the particular project consistently so if you're actually moving to Navisworks, tecla or autocad or civil 3d we will be still using the same workflow so it keeps workflow consistent coming back to the app here over you can see that there's a blog post shared how BIM 360 design is linked with Revit and Revit is linked with BIM track. Actually, there is no direct link right now between the uh, BIM 360 and BIM track. It's going to be a similar way that is if, regardless, you are using BIM 360, because if you are using BIM track with Revit, uh, whether you are using a central uh, collaboration or not, it will work absolutely the same way. So there is no direct link. So we are looking really forward to see those 
uh, combinations. Because in BIM 360, we really want uh, direct integrations. Some of our project collaborators and the, even the client um, can easily extract the documentation over here and really look into details. It's much easier for them to just jump on the BIM 360 and see all the workflow. And if we can link the mark, uh, marking directly in BIM 360 to the um, BIM track, that will make our life much, much easier. Right now, we do a bit of double the work. So once we have some issues over here, we try to duplicate. We are duplicating sometimes. We try as much as possible not to duplicate. But yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle at this point. Coming back to the BIM track issues, you can easily filter the issues by priority or by assignment for whom it's assigned. So if you simply go onto the priority and said, I want to see all the critical priorities because I'm taking a little bit more advanced role in Revit modeling. In that case, I would like to see all the critical issues and I would like to tackle those first and to push the project forward. Therefore, it's easy for me to really easily visualize and see the issue, locate the issue and resolve it. Um, as soon as I resolve it, obviously these are actually closed right now. So I, I need to add the filter further what issues are open. So if I go on the open apply, so there are no critical issues that are open. But if I go in the high priority critical uh, open, sorry, high priority and say this open, I can see that two issues are still remaining, which has to be fixed as soon as possible. You also have an IFC viewer over here. We really don't use it as much since we prefer more collaboration directly to the, to the BIM 360, but I understand the purpose. So it's even further to integrate different software products into one um, hub and visualize everything through here. Um, that is a really great way of doing it. If you are interested in a video seeing IFC collaboration as well as applications, um, how BIM Turkey is used between the different software products, please comment below. We will be happy to do another review in depth to show this kind of workflow. Another thing we love in BIM track is to quickly visualize the status of the project. And whenever we understand or ex want to extract the status, we can simply go to the reports and easily extract the report with all the settings we want. And it will give us a report, something like this. So it will show us all the project details and all the issue report. This makes it very easy to collaborate in the project because it allows us to combine and collaborate with a single platform. So it allows interoperability of different issues within one app. And coming back to the, um, obviously the dashboard, these are the main things. You can automate certain tasks if you want, and you can even automate um, the schedules if you have premium features, if you subscribe for premium features. But right now, if you go onto the description, below or above, you will get a free account for unlimited time that is constrained, restricted with 50 issues. So if you have less than 50 issues, you, you can use your account absolutely for free. And that's a great bonus and great feature provided by BIM Track. And I can tell you that as soon as you reach to 50 issues, what you can do is you can archive your issues. And then from the archive, if you really don't want to keep the audit, you can delete it. So for this project, that's what we did. Uh, we archived all the issues and we it, it is mostly for the internal purposes and we deleted all of them since we didn't want to keep audit. But I would definitely suggest you to don't do that in a larger scale project. And if you have more team members, you really want to keep track on who is doing what. So it's only applicable if you have a couple of members and only if it applies for the particular project. All in all, this was a product. So if you would like to learn more about the BIM track, please comment below and we would love to hear your feedback. If you would like to watch another great value added BIM management product, you can watch our plenary review. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we are going to post three videos for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.